Hello, everyone. So I have a message, a very specific message for someone here. I feel like this is a very small energy group, probably maybe applies to one person, maybe three or four people, but not very many. It was this, this came to me in a dream last night. And sometimes when I have dreams like that, I can, I can tell when it's a message for someone on my channel. If you're subscribed to me, if you're following me, uh, sometimes I get specific messages for people on here. And it's really interesting in the dream. And I just want to say really quickly too, if you're drawn to this video, but you don't know why you're drawn to it, you're like, it doesn't resonate with me. For some, this is a future energy, especially if you're going out and you're meeting new people, making new friends. This is something to be wary of. But anyway, in the dream, in the dream, I was, I was with this woman. I think she was a Latin woman. She had very beautiful, long black hair. And she was trying to impress this other girl. I was the other girl in the dream. And she was trying to impress this girl with money. There was this expensive restaurant that she wanted to go to. She couldn't really afford it. But for some reason, she wanted this other girl to feel like she had a lot of money. Because I remember there was like a hot tub and they like served you food like in the hot tub or by the hot tub. It was really, it was really interesting. And just bear with me for a minute because I'm going to get into the dream and then we're going to look into it as well. And in the dream, there are also these two men. So I feel like in the dream, I was friends with this girl and she was trying to impress me. She was trying to make it seem like she had more money than she did. But she also had these two men that were tied to her. And in the uh, in the dream, one of the guys started just physically fighting the other guy. And we were all in the hot tub together. And he actually held him underwater. It was a really it was strange he held him underwater and he couldn't breathe and I was trying to break it up, but he had him in like a chokehold, like there was no breaking it up. And it was really interesting though, because, you know, at first I, when I woke up from this stream last, like in the middle of the night, um, and I recognized this was for someone on my YouTube channel, I, I kept, you know, kind of tuning in so I could take notes and come on in the morning and, and, you know, put this message out there. And I was really thinking that this was probably about the two men. I was thinking, you know, this must be... Uh, an ex and a new person physically fighting over you. And for some, it could be that. It, that could be the case. But when I started tuning in and channeling, I actually got more details about the girl. I thought I felt like the girl was actually more relevant than the two men were. Um, so I almost feel like maybe this girl comes with uh, this person that you might end up meeting. Um, again, that would be for someone like if you're drawn to this video and you don't know why, it, it could be to kind of, you know, be mindful of who you're meeting. Because if you're trying to manifest a certain type of person, you might get imposters at first. And so you have to kind of sort through it. But I feel like it was a warning that maybe this girl is tied to very dangerous people. Um, I feel like this girl, the energy I got from her, because I started channeling more details about her as I kind of just, you know, sat there and tuned in. I feel like she's younger than you. I feel like she's very reckless. I feel like she's very naive. And I do want to say, too, I feel like the men were fighting over pride. It wasn't like they tried to make it seem like it was about her, but it really wasn't. It was more it was more about pride. And sorry, I'm just reading my notes here from the dream last night. Just bear with me, guys. I'll get it. I'm going to get into the main reading. Just just stay with me here. Um, yeah, I, I think there was something about about like there's like no sunshine when she's gone and there's no light when she's gone. Like they were talking about another woman. And I think. There was some kind of jealousy there. Yeah, this woman just, she has dangerous people attached to her. So for some, I did get the energy of prostitution. I, I did get like, if, and that's not for everybody. But I think there's two different variations of the story. So I got the same personality type, basically with this woman. I feel like she's, she's young, naive, she's reckless. She's not very, um... She's a very young soul. I don't I don't think she really has a lot of emotional depth to her. I feel like she cares mostly about money, about appearances. Like she wants the finer things in life and there's nothing wrong with that. But I just feel like she prioritizes that above all else. Um I feel like she does come off as very fun and carefree and and free-spirited and adventurous and she has a very youthful energy that might draw people in. But I feel like as you get to know her, she's not she's not very intelligent. She's not very deep. She's not able to think for herself. 
So if you're if you're going out and you're traveling and you're meeting new people, be mindful of this because some of you are putting that out in the universe. You're like, I want new friends. I want people to to you know go travel with me or I want to meet free spirited people, and you need to be kind of mindful because you might. Um, and that's that's a good thing to keep manifesting that. But you have to keep in mind with manifestation, sometimes you might also attract imposters. And so you have to use discernment because it's like you're putting that light out there where you're like, I want these friendships and like you're opening yourself up, which is a really beautiful thing. Like you should keep doing that, keep manifesting what you want, but make sure to ground yourself and protect yourself in and, and use discernment at the same time. Because I do think you are going to find the real thing. You are going to find genuine friends that resonate with you, that are a lot like you. Uh, but but you will also, it's like your light isn't going to attract the moths too. You know, you have to kind of sort through and find out, you know, figure out who's genuine and who's not. Because you might attract some imposter types, especially when you when you start getting to the real thing. You might like attract some imposters first, where it's like it seems like the real thing, but it's almost like a synchronicity, like a stepping stone. Like your manifestations are starting to come into the physical, but but don't take the first offer. You know what I mean? Like you're going to, there's going to be a few imposters and eventually you find the real friend group or the real friends that are like you. But this, this woman is, um, so yeah, so we got that she's, she's young, re reckless, naive. I feel like she's almost going to see you as like, a. she's going to look up to you. It's, it's the energy I got from her is almost, um. You know, like in high school, like when you're you're in high school and there's the the younger kids and they always look up to the high school kids and they'll do stupid shit to try to impress the high school kids and they they just want to hang out with the high school kids. That's how this this girl is gonna see you. She's gonna think she's gonna really admire you. I feel like she might have like I I feel like you're probably female, but I guess this could be for a male. But I feel like she has mother or father issues. And I feel like she's gonna see you as like a mother figure because I think you're gonna be older than her both mentally and physically, you're just going to be more mature and more grounded and more stable than she is. But so she has, okay, so she has a uh, dangerous men that are attached to her. I think that's the warning. That's the warning that I'm feeling for some, okay, for a small percentage of you, if you were with an abusive guy or something, don't try to make him jealous because it's not going to just, just try to get away from that because that could be, you know, for some, it, the message is just about the two men that were fighting. For a small percentage of you, it has nothing to do with the girl. It's it's really just, you might have an ex and a new person uh, fighting over you, especially, and I think the ex is the one that was starting the fight in the dream. That was like the one that's like, like, like she, she did something or she like pissed him off. Like she, it was like a control issue. Like he wasn't even fighting the other guy on her behalf. It was more like just pride because in the dream, I was trying to break up the fight and they didn't give a shit if they hit me. They didn't care in the dream. They were just like, they, he was just dead set on like choking this guy out. Um, it just ego. So that could be a message for some of you. For the majority of you though, I, th I do feel like this is probably this girl that you need to be mindful of that's connected to these dangerous men. Uh, there's two different variations of the story here. And if this is resonating with you, please like the video, please, you know, comment, even just leaving a heart comment. I really appreciate it. It's helping me get back in the algorithm. I'm really trying to get my videos back out there again so I can do this, you know, consistently. So I, I really appreciate the support from you guys. Um, yeah, I... Someone needs to know that they're loved. You're, you're loved by your spirit guides, by the people around you. Because I keep wanting to say I love you to somebody. I know that's super random, but it was like channeled. Like somebody feels unloved and they that was a message for someone that's watching you. You do have love around you. Even if it doesn't seem like it, you do have your soul group. You're not alone in the universe. Somebody needed that message really quick. Okay, you are loved. So don't worry. Um, you know, hang in there. I mean, and not that's, God, that sounds stupid. Hang in there. Um, I, I mean that you're, you're going to meet people you're in, um, you're in like this limbo phase. You are going to meet good people. You're not, you're not as alone as you feel. I mean, hang in there in the sense of like, you're in that middle, middle phase, but like, you know, keep, keep going. Basically don't, you're not as alone as you feel right now is what I'm saying. Anyway, back to the main message here. Okay. So for some She's just very immature and she's, that's the, that's the issue is that she's, 
Because it, like I was saying, in the dream, she was she was like wanting to take you to like this expensive restaurant, but it was kind of all for show. It was almost like like she's trying to make you think that she has more money than she does. Like she's trying to impress you. She looks up to you. She might see you as almost it's like your friends, but I think she also has like mother issues. And because you're older, she kind of like is latching on to you in that way as well. Um, and if you want to help her, there's nothing wrong with that, but you need to be mindful that this is like, you know, those, those like people that like they have, like they didn't have like parents in childhood and like, and I've, I've, you know, I'm not close to my parents. I cut both my parents out very early on. So like I was definitely self-destructive too in my teenage years and my early twenties. So like I get it, but it's, it's a similar energy that I'm getting here where it's like when you, when you don't have that family, sometimes you get kind of, a like self-destructive especially in your early years where it's like part of you is like looking for that structure like you're looking it, it's like this like self-destructive self-destructive like adrenaline rush kind of energy and that's kind of what I get from her so even though she wants like a mother or a father it's like when she has that she's gonna test it she's gonna you know what I mean like she's gonna test the water she's gonna try to it's like she it's like a cry for help so you need to if you try to want to help her that's okay but you have to also protect yourself and ground yourself at the same time because she might drag you into dangerous situations with her as like kind of like a cry for help in a way does that make sense where it's it's like she's not she's showing you what her life is like and so you have to kind of bring her into your peace instead of letting her pull you into her drama you know like you know those people that are just like addicted to drama like they like the attention they get from it like they stay in bad situations because it's like they have everyone like, you know, uh, feeling sorry for them. It's it's like it's, it's that kind of it's like she's acting out because she needs structure because she doesn't have parents. And I think it's very sad because I do feel like this girl is very young. I do feel like she's probably like in her early 20s or mid 20s. Like I don't I don't think she's very old. Um, or I get like a very youthful energy from her. But anyway. Yeah, you're being warned about this woman because she does have dangerous men around her. For some, okay, so sorry, when I channel, it's all over the place sometimes. Just bear with me. I'm learning to, to communicate it clearly here. But there's two different variations of the story. For some, this girl is a prostitute. And you're not aware that she's a prostitute. And there's actually a man that is basically kind of like her pimp. That is, um, and there's, there's, you know, that's, that's not for everyone. There's another second variation I'll get into in a minute, but there's a man that's kind of like her, like her pimp and he has his eyes on you. And this could be, if you're like, if you're on any websites, like, uh, you know, like seeking.com or like any of those, like it's kind of saying like, just be a little bit, be careful. Or if you're, maybe you're financially struggling and you're not, you're like looking for, uh, a new way to make money and you might not be meeting the best people. It's like, just be, be careful because it's like this, this man is almost, she likes you. Okay. So I think this man is playing her to get to you. If that's, if this is your variation of the story, I feel like, and you could be like a stripper or you could be in the adult entertainment industry, or it's like you have some connection to this, um, somehow, which is, is, you know, how this is happening. Uh, but I feel like, and like I was a stripper, so there's no, there's no shame. I was a stripper when I was younger too. So it's like, I can, I can kind of sense that energy sometimes. I think it helps me pick up, pick up on it almost. But anyway, I feel like, I feel like she's very, you know, again, young and naive and I think she's lonely. And so I think it's almost like this man uses her to recruit people to try to get them to kind of, you know, prostitute with her is what I'm feeling because she's so just just naive he can kind of play on that he can kind of she's not very smart that's the thing so it's really easy for this man to be like 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 he tries to make it seem like it's not a bad thing like she's doing you know it's it's kind of messed up she is recruiting people and, and they don't know what they're getting into but I think he's able to play on that naive energy that lonely energy that she has he's able to say like you know, this is a, you know, you're, you're lonely, right? Wouldn't it be fun if we, if we, uh, if we had a friend to go travel with us and work these different cities, like, wouldn't it be fun if, you know, it could just be the three of us, like, wouldn't it, it's like, he wants to spice it up or he wants to do like two girl shows or something like that. Um, 
And I'm going to get into the second variation in just a minute because I know this first variation is probably only for like 10 or 20 percent of you. But it's it's like he's playing on her her, you know, her lack of intelligence, her her loneliness, those kind of energies. So she's all excited. She's like, yeah, I want a new friend. I want to because she doesn't she doesn't um again, she doesn't have the depth. So it's it's kind of like. Maybe work has been slow and he's thinking like a two girl show will spice things up a bit because I just get this sense of like there was that thing in the dream where she was like trying to make it seem like she has more money than than she does. Like, look how I live. You know what I mean? Like, look at look at all this money I got. I can buy whatever I want, but it's all just an illusion. She's actually not doing that great financially behind the scenes. Or I feel like he's taking a lot of her money and she's not really fighting it. She doesn't know how to fight it. She doesn't have the the skills, the resources, the the mindset to know how to fight it. So he's, you know, not only is she doing this, but he's he's getting he's gaining a lot of the money and controlling a lot of the money and being stingy with it. And probably he's probably blowing her money on other things, honestly, and telling her that he's just holding it for her and he's gonna save it for her because she's young and you know, they're going to buy a house with it someday. But I think he's actually blowing the money. She's just not smart enough to to realize that. It's like, because it's like, if you're going to do that, there's no, I'm not even like shaming anyone that does that. You know, everyone, people have to make a living. But it's like, at least if you're going to go down that path, which I don't recommend it, but it's like, at least work for yourself. You know what I mean? Like, at least be safe and work for yourself and don't be scammed by people. But yeah, she's too young to, 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 recognize what's going on here she doesn't I think she doesn't have like family or anything so she kind of sees him as like her father in a way and in some in some strange way they have a really weird relationship um I mean because it's almost like it might even be romantic or sexual but it's like also like a father figure to her so it's just like the weird mix of energies I don't know what to make of that but um anyway yeah uh sorry where was that because I started channeling more and more details where was I where was I going with that I could pause now sorry bear with me (laughs) oh yeah she's okay so she's gonna try to make it seem like she's making a lot of money like she has this glamorous lifestyle to to pull you in so I think it's actually this man that has his eye on you the man might have actually seen you first as well because he might have been on the lookout for something so he might have seen you on like a website or he might have seen you out in public somewhere or heard about you or if you're like in a, like if you're like in a dancer maybe he saw you at the club or something and he's going to go back there with this woman and you know try to become friends with you he just he sees maybe you maybe you and this woman even have like a he feels like you're compatible with her in some way like if if you guys were doing like two girl shows or something like like there's some compatibility where he feels like it would make a lot of money. Uh, but yeah, I feel like maybe he like saw you first and then he went to her and he's like, hey, like, you know, you know, wouldn't you do you want a friend? Do you want someone to travel with? Like he he kind of again, he just played on her emotions. So you need to be mindful of this woman. It's it's she's not she's not necessarily a bad person, but she's she's kind of just a, a puppet here. Um The second variation of that story is I feel like, I feel like this is just, you know, just, you know, not, not a hook or anything, just, just, you know, an average person, but I feel like she's connected to very dangerous men. I feel like she has an abusive boyfriend that is currently stalking her and she might try to, uh, so for the second variation of the story, I feel like she might try to use him to use use you to make him jealous. Like she does like you. I do get that for both storylines that she does like you. She might see you as like a mother figure. She kind of looks up to you. Um, you're you're fun and exciting. She really admires you. She admires your stability. Oops, sorry. But let's see let's see what the cards want to say about it but yeah I feel I feel like she might use you to make him jealous in the sense that she might uh you know how like those girls it's like they try to go through like a like if you go through a breakup or whatnot sometimes you try to go through that like glow up to like get the person's attention sometimes or sometimes it's like a genuine glow up too but it's it's almost like that energy where she's trying to get his attention and she's trying to 
she's it's really it's sad because he's abusive I do get that he was physically abusive mentally abusive with him like it's not a good energy but I feel like she, uh, I feel like this I feel like he left her or they broke up maybe they fought and she's trying to she's trying to make him jealous so she's trying to like meet new friends and go out and be like hey I'm living my life I'm not waiting around for you like I'm having fun so she might kind of pull you into that drama with her because I keep seeing like a hot tub so like be mindful if you're going and it doesn't mean that you need to like cancel necessarily I mean use your discernment if you're feeling off about something of course but I just get that it's like like luxury like there's some kind of hot tub or some kind of expensive restaurant or something um yeah she might um how would this play out I'm thinking I wonder if she might actually like invite guy friends or something and that's when the the physical fight might come into play where it's like maybe maybe you don't know like maybe you can kind of sense this about her like you kind of get like a dramatic reckless young energy from her like you're trying to you feel off about her like you feel you feel like there's something like there's something there that's just kind of unstable that you don't fully trust um, and again, I don't think she's like a bad person necessarily. I just don't think she's very smart. I don't think she has a lot of depth. So maybe you're kind of feeling something off there, but you can't put your finger on it. You're trying to give her the benefit of the doubt. But I just, I just feel like it's like maybe if you guys go to this party or this, this restaurant, this jacuzzi, wherever this might be, it's like, maybe she's saying like, oh, I have these guy friends I'm going to bring or and and you don't know that you're being a pawn, like used to like make this abusive guy that she's missing jealous. You know what I mean? Like she's going to show like, oh, look at me. Like I have a new friend. Um, and you might be very beautiful too. So she might be maybe like you're kind of glamorous as well. So maybe she's trying to kind of like, it's like she, you, you, she knows that being around you is going to get her more attention basically. And so she's trying to get this abusive guy's attention, this ex of hers. And I feel like maybe maybe you guys will end up talking to guys like at this location or maybe she's going to invite guy friends that are just friends. But it's like she's doing it to try to make like she's going to flirt with them and make it seem like there's more going on. But what you don't know is I think that you're going to be around this abusive guy somehow like she's either going to post the location and this this guy is actually going to come there and like there's going to be some kind of a, a fight, some kind of conflict or I almost feel like maybe he works around that area. Like he's like, she's, she's, she's lining something up so that he'll see it is basically what I'm feeling. She's lining something up so that he's going to see it, whether it's on social media or whether it's like physically see it. So maybe he like works at this restaurant or he works close by and, and she knows she's planning it. Like she knows when he gets off work. So she knows that he's going to walk by at that time. And I feel like this man, I feel like he's very angry I feel like, cause he was in the dream. He was like killing this other man. Like he was like choking him. Like he was, he had him underwater in a chokehold. Like he was not letting up. Um, and so I don't even think I need the cards. Cause I feel like I channeled, did I channel? Is this pretty much, is there anything else that I need to, maybe there is one more thing. Okay. But yeah, it's like, you need to be mindful that this, this woman comes with a lot of drama. She comes with dangerous men attached to her because it's like you're going to be part of this kind of plot but she's not even letting you know it or she's downplaying it um but yeah I feel like he's going to see it and there's going to he's going to see it in some form or another and I feel like there is going to be some kind of fight some kind of escalation and you know if you're part of this too like try to I mean it's just sad for like the you know if this does go down like it's kind of sad for that that other guy that's involved too because he doesn't he might not even know that he's being used either like she might just be keeping this plan to herself it's like you and and don't get me wrong like she does see you as a friend she does really like you but she's just she's trying to you know she's trying to do something sneaky here so she might invite these guys out and they're you know again they're just friends or they're maybe these guys like her and she knows it. And so she's using that to her advantage because it's like she can flirt with them and they'll flirt back, but she's not actually really into them. She's just using them to make, make this guy jealous. But I mean, if you can do something safely, like I would do it because this man, if this does go down, if this is your story, this man could be in danger because he's being used 
in this plot to make this abusive, you know, physically dangerous man jealous. And so this guy might be completely innocent. He might not even know that she was ever with somebody. He might just think she's single and like, oh, wow, she actually does like me or she does want to be friends. And he comes out and he's, you know, flirting with her. And little does he know it's like next minute, you know, her ex-boyfriend's rolling up and, and, you know, starting shit with him or fighting him. And, and he's like, dude, I didn't even know you existed. Like, I didn't, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like he's being used on a third party situation against his knowledge. So... I mean, if you see this going down, try to, if, if there's a way to like, I don't, I don't know, even know what you would do. Like, how would you protect this man? God, I'm trying to think. Especially if there's water involved because there was something in the dream. It's like he was like holding his head underwater and that was like the thing because he had him in like a chokehold. So this abusive ex of hers, I think he does some kind of, um, I don't know if he just like, it just grew up on the streets. He's just kind of rough around the edges, but he like, I don't know if he actually started, studied martial arts, but it was like the chokehold he had him in was like no joke. It was almost like some kind of wrestling or something like he knew what he was doing. Um, and he wasn't letting up. He didn't care that he was killing the guy. It was like he was. He, 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 this guy, this abusive guy just doesn't have a, when he gets triggered, he doesn't hold back. He can't, he doesn't know how to hold back even. I mean, I, I don't know. That's, that's kind of a lame excuse. I think people do know how to hold back, but they, they choose not to, but it's like, he's not willing to hold back. I should say he's, he's going to get upset. She's, she's very young and naive. And so she's trying to play these little games with this abusive guy and make him jealous and, and it's going to piss him off so bad. It's going to be dangerous for everybody involved. Um, what do the cards want to say? Really be mindful of this. Yeah, if you can change community journey. Yeah, if you're moving or if you're traveling, be mindful of who you're getting mixed up with. Message of concern. Why unexpected income? Often. Yeah, this, this, um, I guess it's just kind of reiterating what we talked about the message of concern, unexpected income. I feel like that's for those of you that this was prostitution, that first storyline where it's like, it's not going to end well. I'm not going to, I'm not saying it's going to end in like, you know, that, but it, it's, it's not, it's not what it seems. Yeah, it's like this woman is being used to drag this person in. But we already got into that storyline, so I want to kind of stay focused on the second. Tell me more about the second storyline. What do you... What do you want to tell me about that? What's that other message that you had? Adjudication, official person, main male. Don't be fooled if this... Okay, so this abusive man of hers, it don't don't be fooled by the person's title because we have like adjudication like the like the court system, like someone in like politics or in the court system somehow, official person, main male. So this man could be like a cop, he could be like ex-military. He could be somebody that maybe he would seem honorable and this could this could take place like let's say that, you know, maybe for some the abusive guy is going to like this is a very small energy group. This is probably like only two or three of you. But let's say for some, this guy is, uh, let's say maybe she's going to invite him out even. And then she's going to invite, invite other guys out too and flirt with them in front of him. And it's going to, it's all going to go down. That could be it. I mean, cause that would make sense as to how he's going to see it. So maybe for some, it's like, she's playing some kind of game and she's not, she's too young to be doing this. She doesn't know what she's messing with here. You know what I mean? Like, she doesn't know what she's doing. It's like someone... I mean, this girl needs some kind of help, too, because she's going down a dark path, but she's... Anyway, don't be fooled. I think the message here is don't be fooled if this person is, like, an official person. You know what I mean? Like, like let's say let's say that you guys are all out and, and she is using, you know, these people to make her make him jealous. And she's like, oh, I'm having a party or we're all going to go out and I'm going to bring my friends. And it's like one of those, you know, friends is this abusive ex. And then the other friends are like these this guy that she's going to use to make him jealous. Um, 
or it's like she's going to play some kind of game here. Don't be don't let your guard down if this abusive man happens to be like a cop or military or it's like you might have like you might be like, OK, this probably isn't like this is safe because he, you know, he has this job or he has like like he's in the public eye. So he wouldn't do anything. That's not the case. If anything. And I have nothing against cops, you know, I, I'm I'm fine with cops. So I'm not don't don't take this as me talking shit on cops or military like those are rough jobs for sure. And there are a lot of good men and women that, you know, go down those career paths. But this is one of those things where it's like you might just kind of make assumptions like, oh, they're in the public eye. So like they wouldn't they wouldn't do anything to, to ruin that. And it's like almost like it's kind of like the opposite, actually, because it's like they have um, it, it, their position might actually allow them to get away with more because they're in the public eye. So people. You know, like, like if there's like a, a physical, uh, like if there's like some kind of fight, they can call and say the other person did it because everyone's going to be like, oh yeah, this person is, you know, they've been, they're the mayor or they're, they're in, they're in public office or they're a police officer. There's no way they would do that. Like they, they, they're able to use their title to get away with stuff for some message, concern, sudden wealth, lovers, bad health. Poverty. Yeah, he might get, this abusive man might get tricked by her somehow. And he's going to be pissed. It's like sudden wealth lovers, like, oh, I hit the jackpot. Like, oh, she wants me back or something's happening here. And then, yeah, false person to bad health, poverty, high honor, toil and labor. Just bear, yeah, it's like, it's like he's going to get tricked somehow and he's going to be pissed at everybody involved. So, you know, might even get pissed at you, too, if he thinks that you are involved in, in this plot. You know, maybe she just kind of wants to get back at him. She wants to make him jealous, upset him. So I do want to say, though, that man, like you might be in danger a little bit if this is your story. But that man that she's going to use to make him jealous is in danger more than anything. So really... Use your intuition if you if you're in this situation and you feel guided to pull that man aside and say, hey, I think she's using you to make her ex jealous. Like if you find yourself in this scenario, um, God, like full disclosure, like I'm not responsible for anything that you do or do not do as a result of these readings. Like I take absolutely no responsibility for that. Your life is your own. But if you can, if you can safely do it, pull that man aside, find a way to protect him and get out, out of that situation. Because that fight, I feel that's going to escalate. Like, it's not going to be like an average, you know, little fist fight. This is this is more intense. This is something this man really, this man that's being used really does need some protection. So if you're, if you find yourself in this intuition and you're into, and you're like coming back to this reading, you're like, oh, this reading didn't make sense at the time, but it makes sense now. Oh shit. What do I do? I need to act, act. Don't don't like brush it aside. You, you're going to have to be brave here. You're going to have to step out of your comfort zone. It might not be comfortable, but you're going to, you know, this, this man is going to really need that help. Um, you need to protect yourself from this abusive man, of course, as well. But like, let's say he comes out, like you can pull him aside and say, Hey, like, I think she's just using you to make this her ex jealous. And you might want to watch out for this guy. Like try to try to get him out of there somehow. Or try to get, um, they're just, you need to try to intervene whatever way you can safely. So anyway, I hope that helps somebody. I'm going to go ahead and put this out. Thank you guys for watching.